Hey guys, Spartan117 over here, and today we're going to be talking about the TAG or TAG Innovations Airsoft Pyrotechnics ML36. This is one of the grenade launcher products that uh, was introduced, and it's kind of been shaking things up in the grenade launcher world. It's a really cool low profile design that, as you can see in this configuration, is just configured onto a rifle, but has a lot of different other setups. You can have like an HPA conversion uh, setup, you can have uh, its own standalone setup with an optic and everything. Um, so there's a lot of different ways you can utilize this, and there's a lot of different munitions as well. My experience is with the chalk rounds, but I've seen how effective the explosive rounds have been in a Milsom event. Now, it's super easy. Within three seconds, you can change the CO2 on this bad boy if it runs out. You just use the rear sight to uh, basically punch the 12 gram CO2, and if you needed to pressurize it, that's what the little silver button on there is for. But yeah, you can change the CO2 really, really fast if you need to, and you're going to get anywhere between 8 to 10 shots with the CO2. Um, as you can see, you basically just preload all the munitions with the little basically shell casings essentially and pretty much after that it functions exactly like a real grenade launcher you shoot it open the tube reload it and send more rounds down range oh, yeah. now we did use this in jurassic world exodus and uh it was a lot of fun and we actually used one of their chalk rounds for the big finale scene with t-rex but as you can see they have a great look to them there's it's for something that was basically designed from the ground up by an airsoft company I think this is a really awesome design, uh, and it obviously it takes a lot of the ideas and features that the M320 does, and in a way it does them better, because it's it's not as bulky and as cumbersome, has the built-in sights and everything, and it's a really fantastic design, and it's a side-loading breech, so you, you open it, loads it from the side, you uh, throw the round in there, and what's actually cool is that the barrel itself is actually rifled, so you're going to get some really accurate shots out of range, and it's anywhere... You know, effective range is what, like, I mean, you know, point blank or whatever, but, you know, 50 to 150 meters, somewhere in there. At least that's what the websites say, but I've seen these things fly really, really far. Uh, and, I, and I was even shooting them in Hawaii and just kind of having a blast with them. Um, so if you're really looking to expand the Grenadier roll, this is a really cool product that might do that for you. Um, it's not a cheap grenade launcher. No, there's the other alternative where you use the tag shells. Um, with the special tag 40 mic mic you know, shells themselves and um, with a regular grenade launcher which might be more affordable but I like the idea that with this you don't have to like gas up your different you know uh, rounds essentially and you just load it in there and just keep shooting so it's a really effective for just sending the hate down range if you're really trying to suppress or kill enemy in the open or infantry in the open or just get that that good angle on them or taking out bunkers and stuff this is a really cool product, uh, and I just love how it. I mean, it is so satisfying to shoot this thing, and is a lot of fun. So, like I said, the biggest downside is that it's expensive. But if you really want to get in that dedicated grenadier role, it might be right up your alley. So go ahead and check it out. Um, big thanks to Extreme Airsoft in Texas for letting me borrow these units, both for the movie but also to test out. So if you guys want to see more about it, go ahead and check out their website and Tag Innovations as well. Thank you guys for watching. This is Spartan117GW, and I'll see you guys next time.